everybody, it's Pastor David. Happy Groundhog Day. <laughs> That's right, it's Groundhog Day. When Joanna and I woke up this morning and turned the news on, of course, they were talking about Groundhog Day, Puxatawney Phil. Uh, they showed the little 11-minute ceremony. It's an 11-minute ceremony with grown men <laughs> walking a groundhog out to a stump in the woods to see if he sees his shadow. I don't, I don't know if you heard, but he did. Puxatawney Phil saw his shadow this year, and that means six more weeks of winter. Well, was, while we were watching this, Joanna mentions to me, where did this come from? Like, whose idea was this that we would use a groundhog as a means to figure out when the sun will come back? Well, of course, if somebody says that, and I'm nearby, <laughs> I want to look it up and find out. So I looked up where Groundhog Day came from, how people celebrated it in the past, and it's a Christian holiday. It started off as a Christian celebration, a Christian observance. So apparently, a long time back, uh, Catholics celebrated something called Candle Mass. And Candle Mass, like Christmas, right? It was this end of the winter season uh, celebration. And during Candle Mass, a clergy would have long candles that they would bless and they would give a candle to each family. And the, ca the, fam the candle was to burn, of course, in their house to give them light and to give them uh, some, some light source. But it was a reminder that the sun would come back, right? And the length of the candle was supposed to be an indicator about how long winter would last. So you, you burn your candle down, right? And that would be the length of winter. So it made me ask, well, what is candle mass? Like how do people celebrate candle mass? So candle mass is also referred to as the presentation of Jesus Christ. So candle mass is a celebration. It's a holy day that commemorates when Jesus is brought to the temple by his parents. And the way people would celebrate that is obviously with a candle but also uh, they would light other candles. So there's other candles in, in the house that the, those were lit. Tradition also says that you keep your crash, right? You keep your nativity out from Christmas all the way through candle mass. So candle mass is the day you put your nativity away. And there's also a feast. You know what they eat for the feast? Pancakes. <laughs> so it's pancake day. Uh, why, why pancakes, right? Why pancakes? Well, because pancakes are golden round circles and they remind us of the sun. And it's supposed to be that reminder that the sun will come back. So there you go. Uh, Groundhog Day starts off with candles, the nativity, and pancakes. So of course, you're wondering, how did it become Groundhog Day? How did we go from candle mass to Groundhog Day? Well, the Germans, are responsible for that. And so like the candle that tells you how long winter will last, the Germans used a hedgehog, which was an animal that was native uh, to where they lived. And they used that as a means of predicting the weather, namely his shadow, right? The length of his shadow, like the length of the candle. But then German settlers came to America where there weren't any hedgehogs. And the German settlers in Pennsylvania used the groundhog because that was the animal that was plentiful in the Keystone State. So there you go. That's where Groundhog Day came from. But I hope you're staying warm. Have a happy Tuesday. I love you. See you next time. Bye.